Um, and he stated within this, within this paper, hypnotic behavior is meaningful, goal-directed striving. Its most general goal being to behave like a hypnotized person as this is continually defined by the operator and understood by the client. Numerous studies tend to suggest that hypnotic inductions really only serve the purpose of increasing suggestibility on a small level um, and by a small margin and that the same increase can generally be achieved by cognitive behavioural strategies designed to enhance motivation and expectation. Now I have people um, um, from all over the world that um, um, email me to tell me how spaced out they were as a result of listening to my audios or people that come out of hypnosis sessions and say wow you know I was out of it man um, 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 and send me and, and uh, you know I, I imagine that um, um, I imagine that while they were typing those kind of emails they had faces like this and um, um, all this cognitive set. And that's what I want to talk about for the, for the vast majority of my remaining time here. And that cognitive set comprises of some positive attitudes which can then facilitate and enhance certain types of therapy strategies. Um, and deep imaginal absorption, um, engagement with suggestions and so on. Um, I always find it amazing when people are instructed just to close their eyes and not actually consciously engage. You know, don't worry, your, your unconscious mind will understand it all and that, it'll pick it up. And you know, I always think to myself, you know, I don't want my unconscious mind to secretly know. I want to know, you know, just tell me what it is. Um, so this positive cognitive set um, and where hypnosis is seen um, as being a, a kind of place, an environment, if you like, where the subjects are motivated to be hypnotized. They're confident in their ability to respond. They're optimistic about the process and expect to automatically experience the responses being suggested. Um, and they'll tend to respond better because they are in the right mindset. The traditional view of hypnotic induction is largely abandoned by a lot of um, um, evidence-based practitioners. You know, very often will even, once their clients have been taught, will then start moving on to even saying to them, take yourself into hypnosis rather than using induction. You know, you're skilled enough now, you've been practicing enough, take yourself into hypnosis and then we'll begin with the therapeutic intervention.